Hi, I will show you how to create a really simple c -sharp command line program that interacts with an NXT server. It will use a JSON API to get the balance of an NXT account, which should be 101 in balance, and also send some next coins to another account. I will assume that you have a, a basic knowledge of the next platform. If not, I suggest that you go to nxt.org to find out more about it. I have the reference client up and running and I'm using the default configuration so the JSON API is available on port 7876. It's the most recent version which at the moment when I'm recording this is 1471. Okie dokie, let's dive in. And I'm going to create a new console application and I'm going to name it NXT Console Demo. And I'm going to install the NXT lib from NuGet. It's a .NET Framework wrapper for the next platform. Uh, it enables me to work with typed .NET objects instead of uh, JSON. So install package NXT lib and it's also available on github i will include the links in the notes for this video all right so uh, let's begin i'm gonna create another function ah private static So the user will have a choice and we will run a loop until the choice becomes 3 and I have prepared some console outputs here uh, console.read ah, let's make that separate function get int from console return convert to int 32 value okay okay so if the user selects one check balance if choice is one, we want to know uh, the next account ID. So enter your NXT account ID and we want it as a right, not right line. Account ID is console read line. Ah, okay, so now we can start interacting with the service. So we have a service, account service, which is available in the next lib that I imported earlier. And uh, service dot, service dot get balance, and we pass in the account ID. So that's it. We just need to write it to the console. Current balance is something NXT. Apply balance NXT. NXT. Okay, if we do it a test run, we want to check the balance. And we want to check on this account. It should be 101 NXT. It's the same. Current balance 101 NXT. Cool. It works. But if you want to send some next, uh, we will need some more information from the user. We want the secret passphrase, the private key, 
uh, we store it in the pass uh, parameter here and the recipient account ID and also amount to send and uh, we create transaction by secret phrase is an object which simplifies this a little bit broadcast means if we want to broadcast it on on the transaction on the blockchain so it ends up on the blockchain we want to do that deadline 60 minutes the fee uh, from NXT it's one NXT I'm a cheap bastard and the password so send money transaction parameters recipient and the amount and that's it and let's see we just need to write it to the console something NXT was sent to one in transaction two and transaction amount NXT was sent to transaction recipient read Solomon address and transaction ID alrighty then let's see if this works and here's my secret passphrase don't tell anyone anyone about it it's gonna be just your and my little secret the recipient account to send to and I had 101 available next and one is being used for the fee so I can send a hundred hundred next was sent to this address in transaction 1780 and the uh, reference client says accepted new transaction 1780 blah 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 so we have been able to check the balance and send some next using Visual Studio and the NXT lib Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.